We all want to be innovative. We want to come up with great ideas. But you've got to be willing to fall in love with the problem, not your solution. And you've got to be willing to allow the data to speak and falsify your solution. No matter how senior a stakeholder you are, you've got to be willing to let the data speak. It's the scientific method to come up with an idea and an attempt to false and disprove that idea. And let me give you an example from science of where that doesn't work. In 1846, a man called Ignatius Semmelweis took a job at Vienna Hospital. He was a Hungarian chap. And he noticed something really odd in the two childbirth wards. He noticed that in the first ward, run by nurses, the mortality rate was 2%. In the second childbirth ward, run by doctors, the mortality rate was 18%. And he racked his brains and he said, how can these two things be different, these side-by-side -side wards? And he, he observed the actions of nurses and doctors in the hospital. And what he realized was that doctors, every morning, would do something the nurses didn't do. They would actually go and they would examine dead bodies. And then they would go and, and look after the expectant mothers. And in between time, they didn't wash their hands. And so we came up with this idea that we, today we would call germ theory, that in fact, the dirty hands were the problem and all the doctors needed to do was to wash their hands and they would save all these lives. So we tested that theory and overnight he drove down the mortality rate by 90%. Nine in every 10 mothers that would have died actually lived. And he thought the data would speak for itself. He thought actually people would see this and they would immediately understand that doctors needed to wash their hands. But they didn't. The doctors all across Europe rejected him, ostracized him, alienated him. He lost his job and he was eventually driven into a mental asylum because no one would look at the data. Because people, they didn't like the idea that the doctors were the problem. Kind people, they were doctors. You know, intelligent people, they were doctors. But they fell in love with the solution, or they rejected the solution. They didn't fall in love with trying to solve the problem. And whilst the stakes are so much lower in business, it's the same principle. Don't fall in love with the solution. Don't reject it emotionally or don't accept it emotionally. Let the data do the talking. And when you come up with an innovation, when you come up with a solution, be willing to test it and be willing to falsify that idea. Be driven by the data.